Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message Pisces for the week. So what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. So Pisces, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please, angels? What is the message that Pisces needs to hear the most? 18th to the 24th of January 2021. Message for Pisces, please. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the answer is yes. Um, I love this energy, Pisces. Whatever you've been asking the universe, God, the divine for, the answer is yes this week. It's a positive affirmation. Now, also, you might be saying yes to something or someone might be saying yes to you. Interesting that I'm getting that. Okay. It is definitely a happy energy. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Pisces. So just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Thank you. Eight of Swords. Three of Wands is your challenge. Eight of Wands is advice from Spirit. And the Five of Swords is your outcome. Okay. So can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces, please? 18th to the 24th of January 2021. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands again. I mean, I get double cards a lot because, you know, it's the way Angel Spirits Guides want to emphasize a point. Okay, so the Hermit is clarifying the Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands is clarified with the Death card. And the Five of Swords is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. There's a, a kind of feeling here, Pisces, that you're not sure something is for you anymore in whatever context this is. Um, I could read this in romance relationships. I could read this in terms of business, career, money. And there's, it feels like there's a decision, difficult decision to make. You know, because definitely there's an energy of... Uh, definitely this feeling of you're not sure something is for you anymore and you're wondering how to take action how do I move forward there's definitely an energy I mean this is the shift card the movement card but there's it's almost kind of like you you haven't quite made up your mind and again I'm getting that with the two of swords it's either you know the answer. I mean, there's definitely an energy of, you know the answer that you want to take, but it's almost kind of like you're worried about how it's going to affect somebody else or how it's going to be taken by others. For example, 
if there was some opportunity that's come into your life and you want to go for it, it might well be that it won't be well received by somebody else, you know, or if you want to go down a specific direction, that means ending something in your life now, it might not be well received and you're just kind of thinking, how do I broach this? And I'm definitely getting that with that two of swords. It's kind of like weighing up how you move forward, how you make the decision, how you deal with this situation. Because the three of wands is somebody who is manifesting. It feels a new path and it can be a card of uh, taking action towards a new path, manifesting a new path. Three of wands is the first signs of success and growth. It feels like deep down you know the answers, the direction you want to go in right now. You already have the illumination, but your challenge is to actually either make the decision. I mean, it feels like a difficult decision here or how you broach it with somebody else. Now, this could be because there's something good, something new coming your way and you're ready to manifest to go for maybe this new opportunity or you know is that this or manifest a new path a new vision turn your back on whatever has gone before and it, it feels in this situation that you're facing some kind of 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 choice do i stay on my current path or do i go my own way but it feels in this situation you've kind of already made up your mind i'm not sure this is for me anymore Deep down, again, the illumination with the hermit energy, you already know the answer in how you want to go, how you want to take action. But there's definitely this energy of how do I broach it? The message from spirit is... In order to move forward, it might well be, in order to bring change, in order to move forward, something may have to end. The Eight of Wands can be a card of news. Uh, can be new news, can be opportunity, uh, can be movement, shifts, can sometimes be associated with, associated with travel as well and growth. Um, but it feels associated something, it feels like you want to bring change to your situation. You want to take action towards something now, towards bringing change, towards bringing the shift, towards manifesting a new path. It's where you feel aligned to now. But that might mean ending something. The death card is deep change and it feels like for some of you you're not sure something is for you anymore and you desire change and you want to take action towards change and the death card is i mean this is a beautiful card it's out with the old in with the new it is very much that turning point it is that energy of um i'm ready to shed an old skin There could have been healing involved in this situation as well, Pisces, in whatever context. You know, that could have been part of your decision in terms of, I'm not sure this is for me anymore. And there's been some soul searching, introspection, most definitely. And it's, it feels like for some of you, it's leading to this conclusion. It won't resonate with everybody. Um, but, you know, the death card is a card of transformation. I'm ready to emerge from the old into the new. I'm ready to be that Phoenix Rising card. Uh, this is the Phoenix Rising. The Phoenix actively rises in its own light by actively destroying the old. And that heralds the transformation. That heralds embracing the new. It feels like you want new adventures here in whatever context. But it feels whatever decision you make, it might well be received badly. You know, Five of Swords can be a card of conflict. 
Now, sometimes the Ten of Pentacles, it can be to do with a family, can be to do with committed relationships, can be to do with career business. So in whatever context this is, Pisces, the Five of Swords is an interesting one. It can be you're making this decision because something isn't working for you anymore. There could have been healing as a result of conflict and it's just not right for you anymore. And I'm definitely feeling this energy of you have some decision to make, but will you find the answer this week? Yes. Yes, you will find the answer this week. You will get clarity on how you need to move forward in this situation. So it feels very beautiful because the Knight of Wands, now this can be opportunity. So very good in terms of business, career, and the Knights bring change, change, and also the desire for change. But what I'm also seeing with this Knight of Wands is, so this is definitely, he'll definitely hold some kind of, you could be offered some kind of opportunity. But the Knight of Wands is also an energy of somebody who is who makes up their own mind and they go for what they want. They get on that horse and they charge ahead. It's the green light to go this week for you. It's the green light to take action towards a path that you know deep down is what you want. It's just merely about taking action, taking those steps now. And there is such positive change in growth and progress with the Knight of Wands. Um, he's also a card of inspired action. So this could be you. And you know, if it is you, sometimes the Knight of Wands appears when we're ready to take control of something that needs to be taken control of. He takes the reins of his life to bring change, to bring positive change and growth and passion and go for what we want now and he also leaves sometimes it's difficulties behind you know the knight of wands can sometimes be a card of oh thank goodness i am leaving that behind me you know it's that kind of energy so it feels for some of you there's real positive change in whatever context um coming into you but maybe some kind of difficult decision in terms of something's not working for you anymore and you're just kind of like thinking, okay, how do I deal with this? But it feels like the decision will become clear this week, Pisces, most definitely. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. And will you be okay? Yes, you'll be fine. That Knight of Wands, it's such positive energy of growth, progress, uh, passions reignited feels very beautiful hmm. yeah I love this because there's definitely an energy of you being watched over we have ask for help angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance and it's to guide you to illuminate you you know that lamp is enlightened by source the universe, the divine. So it feels very beautiful that you are being directed, you know, in how you need to move forward now. So very beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.